at the winding down of World War II, we made a bunch of very specialized exceptions for knowledge transfer from Nazi Germany into the United States. In fact, a lot of the Nazis came over that were on the rocket programs to help fuel the NASA space race against the Russians in the later stages. In fact, a lot of our biggest achievements came on the back of Russian developed, or not Russian, but uh, Germany developed weapon systems. The atom bomb, World War II. right? Well, that was Einstein and a few others, but I'm talking German about plan? just, that was mostly American. Now the Germans were trying to develop it, if I remember correctly, but we beat them to the punch. So I thought we stole Einstein from Germany. We did. Yeah. We 100% did, but yeah, we got it there. But I, the rocket technology itself was a huge boost to our and if they had gotten that ahead of us, their continental ballistic missiles would have been really bad for the war. So we've gave, given preferential treatment to some of these uh, highly skilled trades, as it were. Oh, yeah. And that brought us a whole new era in technology that I don't think a lot of people really quite understand the impact on. The space race alone, and people get all excited, like, oh, well, we got to space. Well, yeah, that was part of it. But like, there's so many technologies came out, new medicine, new technology for equipment, for like medical repairs and all that kind of stuff and ideas for how to do new jets and new uh, vehicle propulsions, new engine development, new fuel sources, like just astronomical, the number of change, like the microwave was, it's huge how much just bringing that knowledge in, that scientific proliferance in changed us. And we have significantly eroded our knowledge base by dumbing down our educational system to the point to where we're no longer at the apex of knowledge in a lot of different areas, which is why China's given us such a run for money. And that seems to be worldwide. 